Guys, guys, guys. You guys have no idea how excited I am to actually sit down and record this video for you guys. I took my six star Night Thrasher to rank three as soon as I awakened him. You know, July 4th was fruitful. And uh, I awakened him and dumped a lot of SIGs into him, got him to SIG 160. And I have no regrets at all. He's such a beast, so much fun. He's my favorite character in the game. If you guys haven't seen my videos on him, check him out. I have a couple vids. <laughs> Just a, just a couple. No, I, I have plenty. And, um, yeah. For those who don't know, I got accepted into the content creator program, uh, which is here. And the first thing I did was took Night Thrash just to rank 3. I took him to stake 200. Recorded gameplay. I have everything recorded. I just haven't, like, edited everything together. But once I got this dude awakened on my main account, I'm like, yeah. The video, the first video has to be on my initial, like, live server. Um, I really wish you guys could have seen my reaction when I was using him at 6 star rank 3. He's freaking stupid. His damage is ridiculous. Uh, he's so much fun. Um, the funny thing is, his with him with his full synergy team uh, as a 6 star rank 3 at SIG 160 performs exactly the same as a 565 SIG 200 at, uh, in Realm of Legends against Winter Soldier because the ramp up is indefinite. You're always going to ramp up about 30 hits. But 565 is already so powerful that uh, he finishes the fight as fast as 6 star rank 3. So I'm not going to show him off against uh, uh, Realm of Legends Winter Soldier today. Uh, we're going to show him off somewhere else. But one thing I want to highlight that a lot of people sleep on is his block proficiency. A lot of you guys don't even know this about him. He's got 71% block proficiency. That's pretty stupid if you ask me. Um, but yeah, I I'm, so I'm so excited. Let's just get into the gameplay. Alright guys, so I'm taking you guys into Labyrinth of Legends, and I know I said I'm not going to go against Realm of Legends Winter Soldier, I'm going to do that later in the video without any synergies, but for now, I'm just going to show you guys just the absolute madness that this guy can unleash with the right setup. Um, it's not really a practical setup, so what you want to do is use these pre-fights, um, and like I said, this isn't practical because Mr. Fantastic's out of pre-fights basically right now. Um, then we're going to use the Magneto pre-fight to get the guidance boost so I can stun this guy and not worry. And then we're just going to go. Um, the only where this is or only spot this is practical is in Act 7 where I can sub out Mr. Fantastic and put or sub in Mr. Fantastic and then use his pre-fights. Uh, unless I run a whole path with Mr. Fantastic or something. Um, but yeah, so now I just gotta get all my debuffs up through my special one. Um, the way his debuffs work is really cool in my opinion. Um, if you use a medium attack before your special one, you will place an incinerate. If you use a light attack, you'll place a disorient. If, if you use no attack or a heavy attack, because both work, um, you'll place a shock on the debuff, or on the opponent, a <laughs> shock debuff on the opponent. It's kind of hard to talk and play. It's an art I've never mastered. So right here, I could tr oh, no, it didn't work. So now we're going to do this. Okay, that didn't work. Um, the one thing I hate about Night Thrasher, which is hard for me to say that I hate anything, is inconsistent heavy spacing. Um, like Mr. Fantastic has it, and I get why he has it, but um, it's not like Night Thrasher could just heavy spam in the corner without them gaining power. But yeah, uh, we're fine. I don't know why I'm complaining, st complaining still. Uh, we have this fight basically set up, ready to go. We have our 10 Fury buffs. Um, if you guys don't know how to use Night Thrasher and want to learn how, I have a video up. It's old, but it gets the job done. Uh, goes into more detail than I'll go into for this video. But yeah, this this damage output is just stupid. Um, like I said, I, I originally tested Night Thrasher on the Content Creator Beta program, and uh, yeah, I really wish you guys could have seen my reaction to when I was doing this on uh, the beta server. It almost makes me wish I only tested things while I'm recording myself, just so you guys could see how blown away I was. Like, for me to be a Night Thrasher fan and use him all the time, and for me to get like pretty blown away with his damage output it says a lot um 
Again, I get it, this scenario isn't too perfect, but really all you need is the Darkhawk synergy, and Darkhawk's not that bad. Um, plus, Night Thrasher covers a lot of ground, so he's worth bringing a synergy champ in for. But yeah, this is just like ridiculous, guys. <laughs> Like, uh, if that last hit on the special 2 crit, that'd be like 44,000 damage. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of blown away right now. Um, playing with Night Thrasher at 6 star rank 3, high sig, has been the most fun I've had playing this game in a long time. Um, for those who don't know, Night Thrasher was my first ever maxed out 4 star champ, and, uh, He's basically the reason I'm still playing the game today, because I was getting bad crystal pulls, and uh, I, I ended up getting Night Thrasher, and I was kind of like, well, this dude, he's not really high on anyone's tier list. Um, I covered this all in one video called Why I Love Night Thrasher, but um, yeah, I, I was like, alright, well, I'll just try him out myself, and I was using his animate or using him, just his animations were like super smooth and a lot of fun to use. And I didn't even have him awakened at the time when I took him to max rank as a 4 star. Um, his incinerate immunity, uh, true accuracy on all skateboard attacks, uh, he's a tank, he can take blocked hits, uh, just all of it came together and I was like, yeah, he's a beast. And then I got him awakened and I was just like, wait, his damage can get even higher? <laughs> all those damage isn't that high uh, on unawakened. Uh, you know, it's still pretty decent for someone just starting out. Um, because he was one of my, I think, first 10 four stars. I can't remember all too well. Uh, but yeah, he's he's such a beast. Uh, I really want to try him out in this Alliance War season because of the Untouchable Globals. Um, or the Untouchable Global. Um, it's been having some bugs recently where characters are evading when they shouldn't be. And Night Thrasher ignores all evade effects with his skateboard attacks because of the true accuracy. He doesn't like reduce it uh, or, or reduce evade chance by 100%. He just ignores evade. So that's something I really want to see in action in Alliance War if I can. I'm not going to force it, but if I can do it, you know, I'd love to do it. But yeah, there we go. 198 hits to take down Labyrinth of Legends winner or uh, Star Lord. Um, that's pretty crazy if you ask me. Um, I think a 6 star rank 3 Nick Fury does it in like 140, 150 hits, I can't remember. Um, which is pretty, you know, <laughs> it's Nick Fury, that's all I gotta say. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna show you guys him without synergies, which is more realistic, because this is what I'd probably do in Alliance War. And, uh, one weird thing I just did, I unlocked the Resonate Mastery, uh, Mr. Fantastic, Night Thrasher, a couple other characters I use really benefit from it. Even Warlock, because you uh, access the willpower healing on the opponent faster, so you can uh, heal block them, power control them easier. Um, but yeah, like Mr. Fantastic does more damage for each debuff on the opponent. Same with Night Thrasher. So, I don't know. I find it pretty useful so far, and it allows me to take certain things in Alliance War. I don't know what the hell just happened there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, helps me take certain things in Alliance Quest is what I meant to say. Like what's yours and mine I think the note is. Um, Cause you need a weakness on the opponent so I can use any character there really. And just hope I get the weakness debuff. But yeah. Um, so now we're just gonna keep using our heavy attacks to refresh the debuffs. Um, I do need to get my disorient up which I'll do right now. Um, and then I'll get my shock up afterwards. All right, we'll get one more heavy in there. That's one thing I love doing. I don't see a lot of people do that with Night Thrasher is chaining your special one from your heavy attack to get the shock at least because that's the only debuff you'd be getting from it. Um, you know, I love that inconsistent uh, heavy distancing. right here I'll be fine I don't know I just got to get more used to it because I, I normally don't just spam heavies like that but now we have 9.5 uh, medium attacks or 9.5 K medium attacks which is not insane obviously but it's still really solid <laughs> um, and like the potential with him and incursions 
because uh, of buffed up or not buffed up uh, buff cornucopia or any hack where you could put tons of debuffs on the opponent you're just going to increase your damage even more uh, he works really well with attribute boost multiplier which is a lot of fun okay i don't know why i went for that i'm kind of playing like a scrub so don't judge me guys <laughs> i just recorded two other videos so i'm nearing my end of the day <laughs> so yeah um but back to incursions uh simula six seven and i run incursions a lot and we usually bring our fun champs at least i do i use night thrasher and uh cgr a lot because they're just a lot of fun in incursions and their damage is pretty bonkers and they work well with a lot of hacks but yeah um i can't wait to get back in there with sim and try out night thrasher at rank three yeah, there we go. This should finish off the opponent? No. There we go. So, about 100 hits, which isn't insane, and it's really not that great for a 6-star rank 3, but all you really need is the Darkhawk synergy with Night Thrasher, and your damage is pretty, pretty solid then. And Night Thrasher has so much utility and he's so sustainable that bringing Darkhawk along isn't that really big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal, honestly, in my opinion. At least for me, because I like using Night Thrasher a lot. Um, like I said, just so you guys know, um, or for those who might not have been paying attention, uh, the Darkhawk synergy allows debuffs to reduce the opponent's combo rating by 20% for each debuff. Um, and then Night Thrasher gains crit damage rating for each debuff on the opponent, so it just goes hand in hand. Um, honestly, if, if uh, some people think Night Thrasher needs a value buff, I don't. But if they did give him a buff, just take the Dark Ox synergy, slap it on his base kit, and then give him some form of immunity from the synergy. That would be the best way to buff him, because I don't really think he needs a buff at all. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I really like Night Thrasher, and... A lot of people is like, oh, he, he takes too long to ramp up, and I get that. Um, I'm a fan of characters, or I'm I'm not opposed to characters who need special threes to get into their damage, like Mysterio, Mr. Fantastic. Uh, Night Thrasher basically needs three bars of power to get to his uh, damage rotation, which is essentially a special three. He just needs to use special one three times. So I'm not a I'm not opposed to characters who have a longer ramp up, just as long as the ramp up's worth it, and I feel Night Thrasher's ramp up is worth it. Uh, I just pray to God they don't, you know, buff him and you know change him completely, because I really love his kit, and uh, I, I would really only want to see things go up and not go down. Uh, that's just me being selfish, I guess, but he's still super solid, and those who deny it, um, they're just you know not trying to see it. And one other thing I do want to show is that Night Thrasher's Prestige is my second best <laughs> at Sig 160. It's 12.85, uh, so it's not like insane, but um, it's up there, I guess. And for someone that was going to rank up regardless and Sig up regardless, it's solid enough for it to not, you know, really hurt me too much with Prestige. Um, as soon as I get Hulkbuster out of this Prestige uh, right here, is uh you know chonky looking <laughs> you know I, I don't even know why his prestige is so low at sig 120 like at sig 200 i don't even think he cracked yeah he doesn't even crack 13k that's ridiculous um i wish they buffed his prestige when they buffed him but yeah he's the only one really holding me back in my prestige which is gonna be fixed by mr fantastic soon hopefully but yeah that's gonna do it for me guys if you guys are ready for the uh the huge project video with night thrasher uh you know, hit the like button let me know. I'm not going to do a like goal because I think those are kind of ridiculous. But, um, yeah, if you did enjoy the video, you know, help, help me out a little bit. Hit like. If you're new, consider subscribing. Um, now that I do have the content creator pay, uh, program, I can go on the beta server. So if you guys want to see anything, let me know. I'll uh, log in and test something for you. And uh, if you're already subscribed, I always say this. I appreciate you. And, uh... I'll see you guys for the next video or stream. You know, always depends on when these come out. So peace out, guys. See ya.